Hi, this is another video of me and my school, I guess. So this is horror school, and it's about the monsters on Maple Street and the monsters are due on Maple Street, which is the 1950s version, and um, the monsters on Maple Street is the 2003 version. And I will be talking about the differences and similarities of both. Um, so, tech. Tech is something that in our modern times we basically take for granted. And most of us have a phone or something, you know, that you can just do videos with, or really just, I don't know, a lot of stuff with. And it really kind of like shows the time frame because they did film it in like 1950s and 2003. And I think that's where it takes place as well. Because in 2003, this takes place after 2000. I think it was 2001, um, terrorist attack of the Twin Towers, and that's why in the 2003 one there is um, kind of a whole emphasis on terrorists, and in the 1950s there was a whole emphasis on aliens, and while it doesn't really make sense with the whole alien situation, it was during the Cold War times, and so everyone was kind of like nervous that someone was like a Russian spy and everything. And so they couldn't really trust each other, or a lot of people didn't anyways. And so, you know, that's kind of where that comes from. Um, and then in the, so I already mentioned that. Basically, anyways, back to technology, I suppose. Um, when the lights go off and both, um, both well, and like the technology starts working, we talked about it in the class as well. This is kind of where they start to lose basically their sanity. I don't know, it starts firing down the drain from here. And then you also got like their humane ship, like their care for others and, you know, like not hating other humans because they suspect them of something and actually being rational. So that's basically their loss of like rationality and care for one another and trust. So that's what it's kind of symbolizing there. And then, um, <laughs> yeah, the sanity's going down the spiral just like in quarantine, so I hope we're all hanging in there. It's going to be all right, I suppose. Um, all right, now we move on to the figures, which is basically the guys who do the special effects behind the scene and everything. They're basically the guys you don't know about, but they're, they're like the main antagonist and stuff. So in the 2003 one, they are actually the U.S. military, we find out at the end. And they are conducting a test on a very small street called Maple Street, of course. And, you know, they're doing a test to see how long they would survive with a terrorist, a potential terrorist attack. And they only managed to go five hours without doing or carrying out violent acts on one another. And they tried to burn down someone's house. And so, that's not very good. I hope we could last longer than five hours in the terrorist attack. And yeah, that kind of goes back to the whole thing about um, this happened after 9-11 and everyone was, you know, we know a lot more about terrorists now and stuff. And so everyone was like worried because it was like right after something big happened and the terrorists were the ones who did it. So everyone was kind of worried about that. And um, basically, and the original 1950s one, it was actually aliens who were the behind the scene guys, and they were testing how long a human, I don't know, human populated area like Maple Street could survive without, you know, starting to go insane and carrying out acts of violence, just like in the 2003 remake. And um, they were, what was it? They were like, you know, they're kind of watching them just to see how human nature would actually affect. And all they had to do just to get this kind of started up was to basically turn off a few lights and, you know, flicker some lights. And then people started suspecting each other and people were not trusting each other. And so they started, you know, fighting and stuff and someone got shot and died. Um, then we go, finally, to the, basically the um, conflicts of it all. And in the 2003 one, it is about one single house that everyone has a suspicion of. And they think that's the terrorist people because they are the newest there. 
and they never come out of their house. They never like you know went to the meetings and everything. And then in the 1950s one, they were suspe suspicious of all these different people. Um, you know, everyone was suspicious about each other. Like, um, you know, the wives were kind of coming out and they were like, well, I saw my husband putting together this crazy radio thing. You might want to suspect him. And like, everyone was just betraying each other. And, you know, Steve, I think it was, even blamed the kid, Tommy, from the original. So, you know, they're not great. And, um, yeah. So, my final thoughts and everything. I think that the original was actually better than the remake because just even for the time, I think that was pretty good. Like generally, I, I like all the movies and stuff. I don't know. I just don't think the remakes are as good. It's kind of like the whole situation with um, it, like the first one, the, the original, and then it chapter one from like 2017. It's like, it's good, but it relies a lot heavier on like, you know, modern day, look he's scary now and like back then that was scary and it was like actually really really good plot and everything and the original one follows the script a lot more which I don't know if that's a good or bad thing but I liked it a lot more because it was like oh I know that line I I was the guy who said that and you know I just like the original a lot better I thought there was better acting even for the time I don't know I just thought it was better and then for an example like what it would be like in today's society and 2020, of course, 2021, um, it would probably be something to do with, I don't know, of course I don't want to bring this up, but the virus that's going on at the moment, I don't know if I'm allowed to say the name, I might get the thing that YouTube does not like. Um, but yeah, so with that going on and everything, people would probably be suspicious of the other guy. He would go cough, cough. And then the other guy over there would be like, oh no, he's got it. I don't know, I think that's how it might work. And then someone who's like hardcore quarantining, I don't know, they might think they have coronavirus or something. I don't know, I just said it, I don't know. I don't know how it works in today's society. Anyways, have a good day.